Hey, what is happening today, guys? Welcome, welcome. It's September. Have your wives got out the pumpkin spice latte yet? I refuse to even smell the stuff. It's still summer as far as I'm concerned. Well, what I got today is something pretty cool here. And this is from our friends at icstation.com. They provided this for our consideration. So thank you, IC Station. This is a DC-DC buck converter. Uh, it's a synchronous buck converter. But what I think is cool about it, and we're going to check it out, and if it lives up to the hype, this is going to be really neat. It has um, 9 to 36 volt input and uh, 5 amp output. So this is, a, this is like a 25 watt uh, buck converter. Outputs to uh, dual USBs, and it also has solder pads on the bottom for your output. It also has solder pads on top, you know, if you want to input from a different way. Now it's cool, I like that it is the synchronous buck converter and it has a quick charge chip in it and that's this little guy right here. Uh, we'll take a closer look here in a second. This is the CX2901, which if you try and find a data sheet on it, it's listed as a knee slapper. I'm sure the translation just didn't come through. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So it has reverse input protection. There's a there's a big old meaty diode right there. Uh, unfortunately, our controller chip. Let's see if we can zoom in all the way here. Bring this up. Bring some more light over here on the subject. Yeah, our controller chip has been completely obscured so we have no idea what controller chip is using but it sure has a lot of uh, capacitors around it for decoupling there's a couple of MOSFETs those are 4184 those are 40 amp or 40 volt 50 channel and channel mod four good lord I can't talk again 40 volt 50 amp and channels there's two of them nice big meaty inductor there 16 volt cap that's for our output filtering there is our our knee slapper there's that uh, reverse input diet diode protection all very nicely done on uh, the one side of the board a little bit of um, flux residue there that wasn't cleaned off but you know what let's uh go take a look at this on their web page and then we'll come back and give it a shot all right, here's the item on Banggood's webpage, and of course, I'll link to it down below. So it's the DC-DC buck converter step-down module, adjustable power supply module, double USB, interface DC 24 volt, 12 volt. There's some pictures of it there, and you can see some of the uh, uh, the information here. 9 to 36 volt input. Output voltage 5.25 amp 25 watt. Now output capacity here we say at 9 to 24 volt input the output is 5.2 volt 6 amp at 30 watt. All right. At 24 volt the 32 volt input the output is 5.25 amp at 5 watt. And 32 to 36 volt 5.2 volt 3.5 amp 18 watt. And it does come with this little plastic case, which I just haven't put on it yet. We'll put that on before we play with it, just in case. And you can see a little diagram of the board here. This, uh, the fast charge chip, that is our, our knee slapper. And then this is the controller chip that they've completely obscured, so we can't figure out what it is. But I mean, that's not IC Station's fault. Everybody does that these days. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, controller chip. So this is that CX2901A, your uh, knee slapper. And that is uh, some sort of translation of, eh, no, no description there, of a uh, quick charge identification chip. That's what that is. And then here is a data sheet on our diodes, the AOD4184A, the uh, 40 volt end channel. And you can get some information about them there. All right, 
let's go put this thing to the test. All right, so I've got the case on her. She's ready to go. And I know you guys are going, hey, you missed a screw. Well, there's the screw, and I don't know how well that's going to focus, but uh, there's no threads on it. But I think we're pretty good with just three. So, I'm going to try and get my camera to zoom out here. Hold on. Here we go. Out. All right. So, first things first, let's power it up. I'm putting in 12 volts, 2 amp from this power supply. You can see we got our power LED lit. Then we can bring in little USB power monitor. And yeah, don't worry, I'm going to zoom in on that so you guys can see it. And attached to it, we are going to bring in the 3 amp DC electronic load. So, now that we've got everything in place, let's zoom in and we'll see what she can do. All right, let's uh, start increasing the power. So a little over a half amp, she's putting out 5.18 volts, no problem. Uh, amp and a quarter, 5.14 volts, no problem. Two amps, 5.09 volts, still kicking along beautifully at two amps. So let's take us up to about 2.2 amps, which is uh, what most of your modern cell phones are taking. Handling it just fine, absolutely no worries. Let's go higher. 2.5 amps, still kicking out 5 volts, no worries. 3.3 amps, actually that's about 3.4 amps, still kicking out four volt or 5 volts. 3.65, 3.7, hey look at that, 3.7 and it is still putting out 5 volts. And that's the max that my uh, power, my uh, load can take. So that is incredibly impressive. Very nice. Um, I don't have anything that uses the uh, quick charge protocol, so I really can't test it. But it is definitely putting out the amps. You know, it, it's putting out what's advertised, as far as I can tell. Everything about it seems very nice. Yeah, I call that one a winner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget the uh, description or a link is down below. And uh, y'all have a great day. Peace.